lot of people have trouble getting their head around punctuation. Looking at my emails, text messages and things written on the internet, I really wonder whether we still need it at all. So I'm heading down the library to find out why we need punctuation and how I can master it. Capital letters, full stops, question marks, exclamation marks and commas. There'll be no match for me. I am going to hunt them down and use them in an appropriate manner. Come with me, if you dare. It'll take courage. You don't have to look far to see examples of punctuation. And unfortunately, you don't have to look far to see examples of bad punctuation either. It's everywhere, in every newspaper, magazine, TV commercials, and one thing I've learnt is that people take it very seriously. Bad grammar and punctuation can mean the difference between you getting the job and the other person beating you to it. Why take it so seriously? Why does it matter? Because punctuation exists for a reason. Punctuation is used so that a reader can correctly interpret written language. It helps writing to sound more like natural speech. Reading a sentence with no punctuation is really just reading a string of words with no meaning. Punctuation can be complicated, but that's because English is a complicated language. English was sourced from multiple languages over time, then affected by cultural, social, historical and technological changes. In other words, it's been through the mixer. So it's OK to be confused about punctuation and what goes where, but realise that punctuation is there to help. It gives your written words their meaning. If you use it correctly, then you can be sure that what you've written will be read in the way you meant it to be understood. Take this sentence, for example. I'm sorry, I still like you. If you had a fight with a friend and they sent you this message, you'd be happy to accept their apology. Remove just one piece of the punctuation, however, and it becomes, I'm sorry, I still like you. Taxi! And you'd probably not 